Hello my fellow soulmates and food lovers, two months on Martinique flew by and we did not only enjoy the beauty of this island and the kindness of the people here, but also the incredible delicious food items that you can get on every corner. Here are my favorite things you should try when coming to Martinique. Let's start with the appetizers. Acras. These fritters are a starter item on almost every restaurant menu on this island. Filled with either stockfish or other incredible seafood, these are the perfect way to start off your meal. Plates come with 4 to 12 pieces of acras and are fried to order. Yummy, slightly spicy and gorgeous. If you want to make them yourself at home, check out my video on the top right corner. Boudin Creole. Yes, that's a typical, rather spicy blood sausage, either filled with meat or fish, but without any hint of bloody flavor. Both versions are extremely delicious and sort of like eating a Bavarian Weisswurst, as you have to suck it out of the casing or spread the soft filling onto a toast. Might be weird at first, but it's honestly sensational as soon as you get the hang of it. Feroz d'avocat. This spreadable starter is an exciting combination between stockfish and vegetables. As the name gives it away already, it's called fierce avocado, because it's slightly spicy. But when it's not in season, they substitute it for pumpkin to still retain the same creaminess. This dish was traditionally eaten for breakfast by workers who worked on sugar plantations. So delicious. Now onto the mains. Colombo. When France abolished slavery, many Sri Lankan laborers began arriving on the French Caribbean islands and guess what? They brought their curry with them. The French islands adopted and adopted the spice plant and named it Colombo, after the city of Sri Lanka from where many of the laborers came from. It's much milder and the Colombo on Martinique mostly features either fish, chicken or lamb. If you want to try to make one yourself, you can check out the creation I made with my chef friend Claire-Marie Dubois. Honestly, this Colombo blew my mind. You have to try it. Poulet Boucané. If there's one food item you can find almost every day on the streets of Martinique, smoking away on a little barbecue close to roundabouts, it's the Poulet Boucané. If you find a great grill chef, he will chat with you and invite you to get your hands on the barbecue. But also, this Martinican barbecue chicken is grilled over charcoal and fresh sugarcane. This grill chef keeps covering it in a glaze of red wine vinegar and water so that the skin can get extra crunchy. This gets smothered in a typical sauce creole afterwards and is to die for. And if you get along well with the chef, he will also hand you some homemade rum and give you even more food for free. Getting a grilled chicken on Martinique is quite an experience, I can tell you. Michoui. Another experience that we were lucky enough to have was being part of a Michoui, an event taking place maybe twice per year in a large group of friends and family and you will get a slowly smoked goat to eat. Yes, I was invited to cover the goat in a lush marinade with a bush of fresh herbs. It was so cool. The term Michoui refers to the method of cooking the meat whole on a spit. The family prepared feroz d'avocat and so many delicious things that go with it, such as sweet potato jam, mixed vegetables and different sauces. I've never had goat like this in my life. Tender, juicy and so flavorful and not at all strong in taste. And the best part of it is the time you spend with amazing people. And because we were close to Christmas, they even joined in for some typical Christmas carol singing called Chanté Noël. Michoui is definitely getting a big thumbs up for me. And now the stuff everyone was waiting for. Seafood! To be more specific, fish, lobster, conch and freshwater crayfish. You name it. I had so much seafood, probably even more than I did when living for a few months on the Canary Islands. The quality of seafood and the freshness of it on Martinique is breathtaking. You can get a fresh lobster at a small restaurant on the beach called Barack Obama, where they even show you how it's done. Um, sorry, it's quite graphic. The spiny lobster native to Martinique is often split in half, grilled and topped with saucyon. Literally dog sauce, as I explained in another video. It's a chunky sauce, no dog guys, so chill. What the Martinicans are proudest of when talking seafood is, I would say, the conch, called lombi. It's a sea snail hiding in a huge shell. I'm sure you've seen it before. It's very common here. Moving on to the most famous dessert, the Blanc Manger de Coco. It's a dessert that highly reminds me of the Italian panna cotta. It's made from coconut milk, vanilla powder and sugar. This dish is a very traditional Martinican dessert. It's mixed with gelatin and sometimes cinnamon or lime juice and zest. It develops a sweet, tangy taste. Its texture is creamy and it is eaten and cold and ideally served with some fresh fruit sauce and sometimes with almonds. So yum! 
Okay, so for the drinks, I think the one I have to mention is Rum Agricole. Martinique is the island of incredible handcrafted rums made from fresh sugar cane juice instead of molasses, and this pays off big time. I already made a video about it, so go ahead and check it out by clicking on the right upper corner. Talking about rum, we have to talk about tea punch, short for petite punch, which is ideally white rum agricole mixed with either cane sugar or sugar syrup and a dash of lime juice. It gets straight into your head, so you might want to go easy on this one. But it's delicious, just like my most favorite drink from this island, which is the punch coco. A creamy drink with a bunch of spices, perfect not only for the Christmas season and for me it is the Caribbean counterpart to the mass-produced Baileys and it tastes like coconut. I mean, what more can you ask for? Nothing. So click on the video above and go and make it yourself at home for family and friends. So guys, I hope this video helped a little with finding out what you should definitely try when going to Martinique. It's a magical island and so much more than just sandy beaches and sun. It's a mecca for food lovers just like you and me. So hopefully you've booked your next trip there already. If you like the video, I'm counting on your like and feel free to subscribe for free to my channel. I am looking forward to seeing you in the next video guys. Bye!